Republicans here in Michigan are divided. A GOP-led report says there is no proof of fraud in the 2020 election. But other members of the party are doubling down and making some bold new claims. Over the weekend, former President Trump continued to make false claims about the results of the election. And other Republicans are taking those comments and running with them, including some prominent names here in Michigan. Grant Herms is live tonight with this story. Grant. Well, Jason Karen, that report was supposed to tamp down once and for all any of those unfounded fears that the election was somehow stolen. Instead, it's only added fuel to the fire and really started to show that rift among Michigan Republicans. After the release of the GOP-backed election report proving again there was no fraud in the 2020 election, a public split beginning to show among Republican leaders. Over the weekend, Lake City Representative Dare Rendon was the first elected official to undermine the report in release saying she had evidence there was fraud in Michigan and saying I encourage attorneys in Michigan and beyond to pursue legal avenues. The evidence laid out this morning was of an already debunked theory of mystery election hackers. On Facebook, two GOP party leaders appearing to undermine the report as well. The party's co-chair, Michonne Maddock, defending election liars, writing, she's been in communication with Trump advisors who, quote, wanted a different approach from our legislature, saying she's anxiously waiting results from the problematic so-called election audit in Arizona. The party's grassroots chair also asking supporters if they want to bet there will be a mass shooting or a plane crash when the outcomes from Arizona are released, suggesting a cover-up and conspiracy. Ending the post with, perhaps you have a better guess, I would love to hear your thoughts. The tone from the party markedly different from legislative leaders after the GOP report, like Speaker Jason Wentworth and Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirky, who spoke to our Devin Skillian on Flashpoint just before the report came out. Michigan's election was clear and concise and, con and conclusive. And uh, jo uh, Joe Biden won Michigan. There's no question in my mind. Now, Shirky has also said that he's waiting to see what comes out of Arizona and says those pushing for a so-called forensic audit are just showing concern that we should say and need to say there have been more than 250 audits done, recounts, and numerous court cases that have proven that the 2020 election was safe and secure. Back to you. Yeah, and just kind of adding to that, Grant, we've also gotten some new insight now about pushback from Trump's inner circle to claims of what happened in Detroit was somehow fraud there. Right, that was a segment from a book that's coming out. It said that former Attorney General William Barr was watching that Senate Oversight Committee hearing with Rudy Giuliani here in Michigan and looked at the president and said this is a clown show and then went on to criticize the White House staff that had been pushing that narrative that the election was somehow stolen. That book should be out in a couple months. Back to you. Yeah. All right, Grant, thanks.